Hello and welcome to this AutoCAD tutorial video for AutoCAD 2017. In this video we're going to be looking at uh, boolean commands. So uh, boolean commands. So we'll have a look uh, at how these uh, operate. So I've created on the screen here already uh, some uh, random shapes, uh, a cube and a couple of cylinders that are kind of scattered about through three-dimensional space here. Uh, I'm just going to change the view here to shades of grey again to uh, help us to see this a little bit more clearly. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how you can use uh, solid objects that you've created to uh, be modified uh, in different ways. So if we first of all get all these so that they're more connected to each other. So I'm going to move this cylinder. Now again you can do this either by selecting the individual uh, arrows there on the gizmo uh, or there, so we can move that up and down uh, and side to side but obviously if we want to get this into a very specific position relative to this uh, this can be quite uh, inaccurate so what we want to do is use the move command just like we would do in 2D space so M for move I've selected the object as it's told me to in the command line that's the object I want to move and it's saying specify the base point so where do you want to move this by well, I'm going to move it notice here I've got my uh, 3D uh, snap is currently on so I've got my center of face and vertex on uh, and I'll put my midpoint on edge on as well uh, I'm just going to turn off my 2D snap temporarily so if I select uh, the center of that face you'll see I can move this around now I've got the ortho mode on so if I turn that off I can move this around a lot more freely now now if I want to connect it to this cube I need to select a, a point on this cube so again you can see the uh, blue uh, cursors coming up there so we've got the end uh, the center of that edge and the uh, center of the face there if we wanted to do that so I'm going to snap this to the center of that edge so if I just create that there so you can see it's uh, combined those two pieces but they're still two very separate objects so what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this one as well, same command, M for move, select the center of that face, select the center of that edge, and that's now combined all of those together. So now I've got three objects that are kind of crammed together and occupying the same space, and we can start to do some interesting things with these. Before I go any further, I'm just going to make a copy of these. So C O for copy, uh, select that point, and I'm just going to pop that down uh, just next to it, just pop it down there. Now the first command uh, that we're going to look at on the boolean objects, you can see uh, there's the boolean commands are here, but if we go to solid, uh, we've got the boolean commands here, and you can see them just a little bit more clearly. The same function, just in a different place. So the first one we're going to use is union. So what this does is it will connect these objects that I am selecting together and turn them into one object. Uh, so union, select that object, select that object, and hit space and now that is all one object so if I move that around now so let's move it by that you can see that that moves as one complete object okay so that moves around like that so I can pop it down over there and then I can select it move it and pop it back where we started so if I uh, now take that object and that object I can connect them together so union select objects that one and that one and you could have done all three at the same time this was just to illustrate a point uh, you can combine as many as you like uh, I'm happy with that so hit enter and you can see now that that is actually all one solid object so if I move that around it all moves together so that's quite good now I created a copy of that object over here uh, and here we've got the three objects which remain separate now what we can do at this point is we can start to uh, use the subtract option so if we select subtract what this does is it will uh, create uh, it will take one object and subtract the other one away from it now if you get a little bit lost with this because it's easy because at the minute it's just saying select objects well what objects do you mean if you pop up the command line the last instruction was to uh, select solid surfaces and regions to subtract from so I want this cube mostly to remain, I just want this part here and this part here where these cylinders are occupying to go, I want those to be removed. So I'm going to uh, subtract, 
I'm going to subtract from that object so I'm happy with that and then if you look at the last instruction select the solids surfaces and regions to subtract so I want to subtract that object and I want to subtract that object so if I hit enter now they'll be gone and I've been left with this uh, quite nice uh, shape right here so that's pretty good that's pretty cool So what I'm going to do now is create a fairly basic two-dimensional shape. Uh, I'm just going to create a couple of circles. So I'm going to create a circle. Let's make its radius 50 mil. Uh, and then I'm going to copy that. Just turn my 2D snap on. So let's copy that and move it from there. And put my ortho snap on as well. Move that. Uh, say 150 mil that way. Join it up with a couple of lines and a couple of lines like that. And then trim these out. So if any of these uh, commands that I'm performing here are not familiar to you, if you wouldn't know how to do these, then uh, I suggest watching one of the previous videos in this uh, series that will help you out uh, with some commands like this. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is create uh, another shape which is going to look something like this and for reasons that will become clear in a moment I'm just going to make that 100 mil and bring that across to there like that and bring it down to there like that and then create a new line turn my polar snap on to every 15 degrees I want my line to start there and come up 15 degrees that way so that's that, and then another one 15 degrees that way. That goes there. And then trim these points off here. Get rid of those, and then delete. Uh, that, and that. So that's those gone. Now what I'm going to do now is if I go back to my southwest view, uh, what I'm going to do is extrude these using the press pull tool. So that will bring this up here, we'll make that 100mm. And then I want to extrude this as well using the press pull tool. And I'll bring that up to 100mm uh, also. So what I want to do now is I want to use this object to modify this object. So to achieve that, what I'm going to have to do uh, is rotate this object first of all. Now the easiest way to do this is to come up to uh, here on the ribbon, and here where we've got Move Gizmo, if we change that to Rotate Gizmo, and then select the object that we want to change. By selecting one of these uh, rings here, it will change which axis this rotates in. So if I select the green one, it will rotate it around that axis like that. So we'll cancel that, we don't want to do that, we want to rotate it around the x-axis like this. So again, we can either specify a uh, value for this, or what we can do is if we're happy just to rotate it through 90 degrees, we can put the ortho snap on, and you can see the options that it's given us to rotate that. So I want to rotate it to there, like that. So that's good. I'm going to change that back to the move gizmo. Now what I'm going to do is take this object and uh, pop it onto this one, so I'm going to move this with the move command, select the center point of that edge and connect it to the center point of that edge. I'm just going to turn my ortho snap off to make sure this happens smoothly. Select that there. So what we've got now is these two objects combined with each other. So if we go back to our boolean commands and use the intersect command, uh, select the objects that you want to intersect, that one and that one, hit space, and you can see that what it's done is it's chopped off uh, that end part there. So it's created this uh, sloped face on there. Now obviously uh, that can be used in many different ways and this is where we can start to create quite complex shapes uh, by intersecting different shapes and by uh, subtracting shapes and by combining shapes. So that is a quick overview of the Boolean commands. I hope that's been useful for you, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thank you very much. Goodbye.